Hey everybody, I am back with today's read. This is going to be a little awkward. I'm so sorry. I'm doing my best to figure out what's going on with the phone and why it won't download to the computer. But for now, this is how it's going to be, okay? Sorry for all of the juggling around. We're going to start here with the High Priestess. I'm going to show you the run. Um, you can go back and freeze if you want to so you can see this. But here's the High Priestess run here. There's this run. I'm just going to show you all the cards first. Okay. Then up here we start with the tower and go down to the four of wands. And then we start here with the eight of cups and go to the sun. Now you can go back, like I said, and you can freeze this. Um, and you can uh, look at the run. And I'm going to read it to you the way that, I, that I'm reading it, okay? All right, let me... Grab my paper here. All right. So starting with the high priestess. Okay. We have somebody here that's using their intuition. Okay. Um, go, going to the ace of swords. They're having a breakthrough and gaining clarity. Six of cups. Um, clarity about their childhood. Um, and they're recovering from the intimidation and aggression and bullying. That's the five of swords. The Knight of Wands, I feel like this is a male energy, y'all. Um, he's ambitious and brave, and he's eager to deliver a message. Um, that's the Page of Cups, the message. Um, this uh, message that he's delivering is about the Four of Pentacles. That's some, some, some stability um, found by looking within. The King of Wands, he's bringing this message to this visionary leader who is decisive and honorable. The Nine of Cups, um, this leader is going to bring wish fulfillment. That's the Nine of Cups. The Six of Pentacles is next. And with this gift, um, as well as generosity and support, um, they're going to be, there's going to be a collapse. That's the tower run. Um, it, it, this tower is going to bring in truth and fairness and justice. That's the justice card. Um, to the star, who is the spiritual being that has, um, that it, it will bring um, healing and regeneration. So this visionary leader and this person who's using their intuition will be bringing um, a message to this star that is going to bring this star some healing and the ability to regenerate. Um, the Ace of Wands is, is next, um, giving her or him some um, inspiration and a wellspring of creative vision. Five of Cups, um, after all of the loss, tears, pain, and disappointment that the Five of Cups caused by this competition, disputes, and conflict. The Four of Wands, there will be a celebration. Um, it looks like a public celebration. With the Eight of Cups, there have been many difficult choices, and people are walking away from this Three of Pentacles collaboration, um, this coven and organization. We started the a new run, I'm sorry, with the Eight of, of Cups um, after the public celebration. Okay, we'll stop there, public celebration. There has been um, many difficult choices and people are walking away from this collaboration, this, this uh, Three of Pentacles, this coven and organization that have been working together um, with this magician, this warlock, um, with the nine of swords that is now in despair, this nine of swords is reversed. Um, in despair, traumatized by his own spell work and just wants to escape um, because the sun is here um, and the, all the lies, deception, stealing and cheating has been illuminated. Everything is now being seen that this coven, this organization, this warlock and all of these people that did these things to this um, star energy everything is now being illuminated and it looks like there are people behind the scenes that are are uncovering this and trying to help bring justice hallelujah i know like i've said before there are more than just me there's more than just me out there in the world that's going through all of this and y'all we gotta hang strong 
We do. I know this reading is for me as much as it is for other people. I don't read it for myself. Um, I, it does apply. It certainly does apply, but I, 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 I just ask for the, um, the energy on the collective. And if it applies to my life, then it applies to my life. But this is um, where we are, folks. Things are coming out. This is our time. This is our time. The chosen ones, um, the people that, that have been chosen to bring forth this kind of change. This is our time. We got to stand strong. We got to be strong. We have to stay optimistic. And we have to keep love in our hearts. And we can't let these people, we can't let these people bring us so far down that that we lose the essence of who we really are, you know, and the the love that we have inside of us. You know, I was I was thinking earlier, you know, I'm just trying to think, you know, what can we do? You know, what can we do as individuals? What can we do as a group? What can we do? you know, to, to help stop the, the kind of things that, that the collective is dealing with, you know, people in the world are dealing with, you know, human trafficking, you know, there's one thing that, that comes to my mind and it keeps coming back to my mind over and over. And that is connecting, being connected with each other. We are, we, we have been, brought to the point where we have been so separated from everybody, separated from our neighbors, from um, our, our friends. You know, life gets too busy. We don't have time for our friends. We don't have time for our family. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for that because everything's about making money to pay the bills. And, you know, yes, we do have to make money to pay the bills. That's the way it is. I get it, you know, but we need to find a way to stay connected. And with the world being the way that it is with so much technology, you would think it would be easier to stay connected, but instead it seems to be more and more difficult, which I can't really wrap my head around that one, but whatever, you know, the good old days, you know, when you saw your neighbor's kids playing outside, you know, you didn't stop and glue your eyeballs on those kids and, and watch them. No, you know, you did your thing around the house. You did your dishes. You did your laundry. But every time you walked by the window, you glanced outside and you checked on those children to make sure that they were okay. One, two, three, four. Yep, they're all there, you know. We need to get back to that. We need to get back to looking out for each other. You know, I don't know about you, but if I'm walking down the street and I see a confrontation, if I see something that looks like it's going to get um, in a situation where, you know, people could get hurt or, you know, a man's going to hit a woman or a woman's going to hit a man or, you know, a child is in danger. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not sorry. I won't stand back and watch it happen. I won't pull out my camera on my phone and videotape it. I will intercede. And that is what we need to start doing for one another. That's what we need to do. We need to be there for each other. We need to intercede. If we know that there is a wrong that's being done, we need to help right it. You know, there is a time and a place where people need to mind their own business. This is true. Very true. But right now, in today's world, with everything that is happening and all this human trafficking with women and children and boys and men, with all of those things happening, we need to be there now for one another more than we ever have been. We need to have each other's backs. We need to watch out for each other. You know, if you see a total stranger being yanked into a car, are you going to do anything? Are you going to write down the license plate? Are you going to try to stop it? You know, what What can you do to help? I know there are a lot more good people in this world than there are bad. We see more of the bad than we do of the good, which is a darn shame. But I know there are more good people out there, and I know that there are people out there like those young kids, that boy who chased that car down after he saw his neighbor's daughter shoved into a car. Bravo, young man. Bravo. That that touches my heart so much. Y'all, we can learn a lot from our kids. 
we need to start using our childlike innocence and start looking out for each other again. Start being there for our neighbors, taking care of one another. That's what we can do. That's where we can start. That is a starting point at helping fixing this, being there for one another, watching out for each other, watching out for each other's kids. That's where we start. It's a simple place to start. It doesn't seem like much, but it really is. It's a lot. And I think, I think it's important that we get there and we start watching out for one another again. I truly do. I'm going to stop this for the moment. I'm going to pull my personal cards, the ones that I made. I'm going to see what kind of energies I can pull on that. And then I'll spin the camera around and show you what I got. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right, y'all. See you in a minute. Hey again, y'all. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm not going to spin the laptop around and all of that that just uh seems like a pain so i've put my um cards together the way that i'm reading them and i will just show you okay um remember earlier today i did a reading um brad the name brad came out it didn't come out first i put it on top because the name was um i, I told you there's something about the name brad today sandy my mother, I'm sure it's somebody else's Sandy too, but that's also my mother. Patty. Craig. Austin. Corey. Gaynell. Erica. Cindy. Joy. Juan, Candy, Tom, Tommy or Thomas, it's my ex, Katie, my uh, neighbor's daughter, Ellen, Fatima, Adnan, Brian, Ahmed, Aaron, Guy, Kent, Katrina, Charles again. Charles comes up almost every single time. I think he's a good guy. I got the feeling Charles is a good guy. Gina, Joe, Ray, Dimitri again, Jerry, he's a good guy. Aaron, Carmen, Victoria, Jeff or Jeffrey, Jody, sister, Lillian, Crystal, Teresa, Judy, Hussein, Javanti, Latanya. Those were the names that I got for today. The names I'm pulling for today. Today, the states um, that are significant are Missouri and North Dakota. Sorry, that light's kind of weird. All right. So uh, today, I, I, um, I, on my my reading or, um, you know, when I was just talking to everybody, I mentioned my grandchildren and, um, boys, Gigi loves you very, very much. I miss you. Um, my spirit guides are telling me that y'all are asking questions and that, um, you're concerned. So I'm okay. All right. I'm okay. And I'll see you soon. I love you. Again, we have um, somebody with some insurance on jewelry. Um, Y'all, I'm going to show you 
the um, the cards. This these are all of the cards that I made, and then I'm I'm getting all of the ones, and I shuffle them very well, many 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 times before I do this, so that I can get the energies. But I wanted to show you that because there are a lot of the same cards that keep coming out over and over. So it's significant. Something about the insurance on jewelry is significant because that's the several times now that that's come out. Somebody that lives in the desert, the desert sun is trying to do love spells on their ex-wife. Again, with another coach who wears um, baseball hats, um, is into child porn on the internet. The FBI ought to be able to figure that one out because uh, it's really easy for the right people to find stuff on people's computers now. All right, we have somebody who's a fake, who is um, in indecision telling lots of lies, causing a lot of fights at their workplace. We have a kitchen witch who is involved in human trafficking, also has STDs, and she, I'm, I'm picking up female here, is she is going crazy in the head with demons. Whoops, sorry about that, y'all. I accidentally I hit the button. Oops. All right. So um, somebody is going to be seeing Bigfoot in the trees. And yes, Bigfoot does exist. Yes, he does. All right. So we have somebody here that's going to be drinking and driving. Um, it's going to be at nighttime in the dark. There's going to be a car accident. They're going to hit a tree. So be careful, y'all. Oh, and one more. And they're going to end up in the ICU. Y'all, no drinking and driving. Call a friend. Come and get you. It's not worth it. Somebody is going to be going on an Alaskan cruise. Fun. I hope you enjoy yourself. Somebody famous who is Irish is in danger of, have, of getting a concussion. I'm not sure how they're going to get the concussion. But they need to be really, really careful. Maybe that's Brad Paisley. Maybe he's the one. Because remember I said, whatever his next thing is, whatever he's going to do next, he needs to be really careful. Maybe that's Brad. All right. Somebody here has depression and sadness. They do body modifications um, and piercings to make themselves feel better. Um, they need to get some self-worth. I'm not trying to be mean um, and know that there is such a thing as true love. So honey, sweetie, um, male, female, whoever you are, you don't need to modify your body. You're perfect just the way you are. You will find somebody who loves you. I promise. Don't go crazy. It's okay. We all have our issues, our insecurities okay all right somebody's going to dinner with a cheater they're going to get dumped and that's going to be the end of that so consider yourself lucky at least he's or she is dumping you and you're not going to have to put up or or deal with you know third parties and cheating and you know that gets ugly and can get dangerous all right, so we've got somebody who's pregnant and very emotional. You need to relax and cleanse your aura. Okay, it'll be all right. The FBI knows about a fake religious person who's actually a Luciferian or a Satanist and knows about the plot of the injustice that's being done against the collective. All right, y'all. 
Um, and also the, I'm going to show you the names. These are the names I drew. These are the ones that I, I drew from. And those are the names. Some of them are front and back. And depending on, you know, whichever name it lends on in the front or the back is the one I use. And if, uh, if spirit tells me, I'll use both sides if that's what it calls for. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for today. Um, 444. I love that number. I am going to go. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I hope y'all enjoy the rest of yours. Um, please love each other. Love yourselves and know that I love you. I love you very much. Mwah. To my grandsons, I love you with all my heart. To my children, I love you with all of my heart. I'll see you soon. Later, guys. <laughs>